Ramba Mishnah Torah, one chapter a day. Kilaim, chapter 9. Halakha 1. When a person causes a male to enter into relations with a female of a different species, whether a domesticated animal, a wild beast, a fowl, even different types of sea animals, he is liable for lashes according to scriptural law. This applies in all places in Eretz Israel and in the diaspora. As, as Vaikra 19.19 states, you shall not mate your animal with another species. This applies whether the animal, beast or fowl belongs to him or to a colleague. He is not liable for lashes until he actually inserts one, one animal's organ into the others. If, however, he merely placed one on top of the other or encouraged them verbally, he is given stripes for rebellious conduct. Halakha 2. It is permitted to place two species of animals in one corral. If one sees them mating, he is not obligated to separate them. A Jew is forbidden to give his animal to a Gentile to have him mated with a forbidden species. Halakha 3. When a person transgressed and mated his animal with a mixed species, it is permitted to benefit from the, from the offspring. If the mated species were both kosher, the offspring is permitted to be eaten, as stated in Hilchot Machalot Asurot. Halakha 4. Although two types of animals or beasts resemble each other and one can, can impregnate the other, since they are two species, they are considered as mixed species and it is forbidden to mate them. What is implied? A wolf and a dog, a hunting dog and a fox, deer and goats, mountain goats and sheep, horses and mules, mules and donkeys and donkeys and wild asses, although they resemble each other, they are considered a mixed species. Halakha 5. When a species has both a wild species and a domesticated species, for example a wild ox and an ox or a wild horse and a horse, it is permitted to mate them together because they are one species. A duck and a wild duck, by contrast, are considered as mixed species with each other. The reason is that the domesticated duck has its testicles inside its body while those of the wild duck are outside. This shows that they are different species. Mating a koi with a beast or a domesticated animal is considered as mating mixed species. One, however, is not liable for lashes because of a koi's, because a koi's status is one of doubt. Let's just look and see what a koi is. A koi is a hybrid born from breeding a deer and a goat. There is an unresolved question, uh, question among our sages if it is considered as a domestic animal, behema, or a wild beast, chaya. The Rambam's commentary to the Mishnah Bikurim 2.8. In Hilchot Machalot Asurat 1.13, he states that the term refers to any hybrid that comes from mating a domesticated, domesticated animal with a wild beast. Okay, Halakha 6. Offspring from mixed species whose mothers are from the same species may be mated. If the mothers are from two species, it is forbidden to mate them, and one who mates them is liable for lashes. Similarly, if one mated the offspring of such a union with an animal of any other species, even of its mother's species, he is liable for lashes. What is implied? A male mule whose mother is a donkey may be mated with a female mule whose mother is a donkey. It is forbidden to mate it with an animal of any other species, even a donkey. It is, however, forbidden to mate a male mule whose mother is a horse with a female mule whose mother is a donkey. Similar laws apply in all analogous situations. Therefore, a person who wants to mate in a male and a f and female mule, or to have a carriage drawn by two mules, he should check their their identifying signs, their ears, their tails, and their voices. If they resemble each other, it is clear that their mother is from the same species, and the above activities are permitted. Halakha 7. Anyone who performs labour with two species of animals or wild beasts together when one of them is kosher and the other is not kosher is liable for lashes in all places. As Deuteronomy 22.10 states, do not plough with an ox and a donkey together. When one ploughs seeds, sorry, when one ploughs seeds, hasn't pulled a wagon or a stone or led them together even with his voice alone, he is liable for lashes. This is derived from the term together. If, however, one merely yokes them to a wagon, he is exempt unless he pulls them or leads them. Halakha 8. The prohibition involves not only an ox and a donkey, but also other different species when one is non-kosher and the other kosher, whether a domesticated animal with another, with another domesticated animal, for example, a pig and a lamb or a beast together with a beast. 
e.g. a wild deer and an elephant, or a beast with a domesticated animal, for example, a dog with a goat, or a deer with a pig or the like. For all of the above types of combinations, one is liable for lashes according to scriptural law, for a beast is considered as an animal, as we explained in Hilchot Machalot Asurat. According to Rabbinic law, however, whether, whenever it is forbidden to mate two species, it is also forbidden to plough with them together, to pull them or to lead them. If one performs labour with two such species together, <coughs> pull them or lead them, he is liable for stripes for rebellious conduct. It is forbidden to lead an animal from dry land together with a sea animal, for example a goat with a large fish. If one did so, he is exempt. Halakha 9 when a wagon is being drawn by mixed species, one who sits in the wagon is liable for lashes, even though he did not lead them. He is liable because sitting there causes the animal to pull the wagon. Similarly, if one person was sitting in a wagon and another leading the animals, they are both liable for lashes. Even 100 people who lead a team of mixed species are liable for lashes. Halakha 10. It is permitted to perform a task with a human and an animal together, or with a beast, for example, a person can plough with an ox or pull a wagon with a donkey, or the like. This is derived from the phrase, an ox and a donkey together. That is, not a human and a donkey, and not a man and an ox. Halakha 11. I'm just going to try something a bit different for a moment. Halakha 11. When an animal has been sanctified... but disqualified and then redeemed, even though it is one animal, the Torah considered it as, a, it as two bodies, for it is consecrated and it is as if both a consecrated and an ordinary animal mixed as one. Thus the animal is like a non-kosher animal and a kosher animal mixed together. And Leviticus 27.11 states, If any impure that may not be offered as a sacrifice. According to the oral tradition, the verse was interpreted as, a ref, as, a, as referring to animals that had been sanctified do that but disqualified but disqualified accordingly a person who plows with an ox that had been sanctified but disqualified or made such an ox is liable for lashes because of the prohibition against mixed species this prohibition is part of the received tradition <laughs>